stereotypes in late adulthood. Ageism is an age-based prejudice that can focus on any age but is especially prevalent in how society views and responds to the elderly. Some cultures are much more ageist than others, and this has a potential impact on longevity, with elders living much longer in countries that respect the elderly. Nonetheless, ageism is a worldwide phenomenon. Unfortunately, older adults seem to endorse stereotypes about their age group just as frequently as those in other age groups. For example, many older adults attribute problems to their age and do not try to solve the problems. Indeed, if older adults believe their cognitive capacity to be compromised, they will often act as though this were true, and cognitive functioning in turn suffers. Furthermore, if older adults think that significant decline is inevitable, they might not take care of themselves, for example, eating well, getting enough sleep, seeing a physician when sick, all of which can lead to actual decline. Another consequence of ageism is isolation of the elderly, particularly due to fears of being hurt or taken advantage of, which can be fueled by the media and even by well-meaning relatives. Given the prevalence of stereotypes about the elderly, what can older adults do to maintain positive self-esteem and avoid falling into the ageism trap? Just as selective optimization with compensation emerges as a beneficial tool in middle adulthood, so does this strategy benefit the elderly. Older adults can find solutions to age-related problems, for example, getting hearing aids to compensate for hearing decline, and can spend more time on activities they enjoy and feel competent in. But society must also support older adults' needs. For example, societies could increase public transportation to help older adults stay mobile and independent, even when they can no longer drive safely, an issue that is not tied strictly to age. Similarly, society can provide opportunities for older adults to share their wisdom and expertise. This requires a shift in attitude, from seeing late adulthood as a second childhood to viewing older adults as a vital, valuable group. Reflection you are working with a student who is being raised by his or her grandparents. What initial reaction do you have to this situation? Does ageism plays, play a role in your response? Think about an older adult you know. In what way does he or she effectively compensate for physical, cognitive, or social losses?